Minute Rounds in the Amateur Bantamweight Division and is proudly sponsored by Adidas MMA. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome Daniel Mercurio. I don't think you can go wrong with a Kendrick Lamar walkout song, Tim. No, you cannot. <laughs> We have Daniel here from Absolute MMA. Is there anything that you know about this team, this, this team Diego? Man, I he's on. I think he's 0-1 uh, as an amateur. So he lost his last bout. So fairly green. You know, we know that you know he doesn't have a ton of experience. He's had some kickboxing fights in the past. So I'm interested to see how he fares in the stand-up. Yeah. Absolute MMA, they're based down in Melbourne. They've got a, a good stable of fighters down there. Yeah, definitely. That that gym, you know, every fight show that you go to or you hear of, there's always an absolute MMA fighter on it. So, you know, they have produced some amazing talent. And I'm looking forward to see what Daniel can bring. And introducing his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, out of the red corner, please put your hands together for Dan Gall. Heavy support for Dan Gall here tonight, Tim. Definitely, definitely. The crowd is going wild. And an interesting fact about Dan Gall here also is that um, our main event fighter, Taser Malone, these guys have been friends for over 10 years. They've been friends all throughout high school. And, uh, you know, he was saying they used to go to high school together and they had, they got suspended for uh, starting a fight club and getting caught up punching on with each other. How crazy oh, is go. that? later, now they're punching on in the same cage. It's amazing. It's amazing. So Dan is from Shindo Newbreed here on the Gold Coast. Again, Shindo Newbreed, a local favorite. Um, obviously, we can hear the crowd. Everybody's out here in heavy support of, of uh, Dan. Um, and again, Shindo produces some great talent as well, man. This is going to be a great matchup. Definitely, definitely. His wrestling coach is the former eternal featherweight champion, ex-champion, Garrett Ross. So we, we know that he's well coached. So ladies cool. and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds and will be contested in the amateur bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding an amateur record of no wins, one loss. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 61.2 kilograms. Fighting out of absolute MMA, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Daniel Mercurio. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist on amateur debut here this evening. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighed in at 61.6 kilograms. Fighting out of Shindo, new breed. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Dan Gall. All 
Alright, Ben, over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Listen to my instructions at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Come out fighting. Gotta love you, Stan. And when the action begins, ladies and gentlemen, your referee in charge, Thomas Churchill. These men are literally basically identical in height and reach. It's just gonna be unbelievable. I can't wait. And here we go. Mercurio coming out with a southpaw stance. A lot of work in the clinch from the beginning. Yeah, you can see that that kickboxing background. Gold doing a good job circling around. Good hand position. That was a good fake from Gold before that head kick. Nice spin. Good spinning kick. Mercurio looking strong, man. That tight clinch That's is hot. nasty. Mercurio goes high again. Yeah. Gal giving a little smile there. Oh, oh my right goodness, that there. overhand connected. Clean. Mauricio doing a good job there keeping on that cage. Gall trying to keep that distance. Mercury is so aggressive. Oh, beautiful left hand over the top. Goes for that tight clinch again. He's doing a great job of trying to hold him at bay with that leg. Gall doing a decent job of keeping him at bay here, but man, that head is way too low. Mercurio is, is very nasty in that tight clinch. He keeps going He's back that to pressure, that. that. That constant pressure. But Gal, still They're smiling. They're smiling at each other. They're throwing down to him. There you go. Look at him, he's talking to him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Gaul lost his balance. Mercurio posting on the head. Gaul has got a single. Just comes up with it. Mercurio does a good job of cross facing. Oh, that was an illegal knee. Our referee saw that. I think he's okay. I don't think it was an intentional one. Yeah, definitely not, man. These guys were throwing down and, you know. The emotions are so high right now. Looking to the corner from God and say. Gosses, let's go. A minute to go in the round, man. So much action already. Oh, oh overhand. Overhand right there. Goes with that lead uppercut. Mercurio comes high. Left cross. Left cross again. Goes high again with the left kick. Yeah, and then left cross. Mercury tries to return with the right hand. Mercury's doing a great job of keeping going. Ducks away. under for a takedown. Again, he goes back to the tight clinch. I love that so much. That's so good. Mercury trying to respond. Turns away. Very good action. Mercurio comes in with that one, two. Oh, just on Gall goes for a wrestling. Mercurio just, just pouring it on. Goes high again. Oh, my goodness. What a round. Very good round for Mercurio. That pressure was insane. All getting his instructions here from Coach Kerry Dunn. Both boys on their feet in between rounds. Deciding not to have a sit down. I think they can't wait to get it going again. Seconds down. Huge thanks to our sponsors at Adidas MMA for all your MMA needs. Head to adidas.com.au. Both boys have a smile on their face before the round starts again. Oh, 
man, Mercurio comes kick. out with that left body kick, snaps into Mercurio. Into Hulk, excuse me, golf. Once again, he goes back to the attack clinch. He feels very comfortable here. Attempts a throw, slips out. Oh my goodness, Gaul is just pouring it on, heavy pressure, knees. Gaul needs to try circle off that cage and disengage from that clinch. He's all... He'd be wise to try maybe get another hook and circle because this Mercurial tight clinch is nasty. It is, it is. He goes high again with that left. I think you see something there, man. It's, I'd like to see him set it up with some hands first. Maybe. That's true, that's true. Gaul trying to keep him away. He Ooh, looks tired. Some big breaths there. Very deep breaths. So hands are Goes down. for a spin. Mercury is just Mercury, I, all over him. I think he's. I think he's seen that. Gal's a bit tired now, Goes so he can. again. Gaul needs to try to close that gap, man, and circle out. Maybe tie him up with the double unders. Maybe, yeah. Gaul needs to try to get an underhook there, and maybe circle off that fence. Mm. Mercurio going at it, just everything, nice and loose, knees left and right, right hand, left hand, hooks, uppercuts. We can hear Kerry Dunn from Shindo yelling out to get off that fence. I think he's trying, man, but I think he's exhausted. He takes that Ooh, knee. That hurt him. That, that hurt him. He'd be wise to really try leg. to tie him up right now. He's hurt, Tim. He's hurt. A minute left in the round, too, Diego. Oh, my goodness. Very good clinch. I think that's going to help oh. him. You should try to tie him up here, man. Slipped that's and landed in mount. not a good position to be in if you're a goal it's right now. Still 45 seconds. It's a lot of time to be stuck under someone's mount when you're tired. A referee, Thomas Churchill, right on top of the action. Mercurio just doing everything he wants here. In the mount, Gaul is just exhausted. Great job of holding that position. Gaul's just hanging on there. He should try to tie him up or maybe get, get elbow to hips. Look to circle, tie him up. He's got some time and look to rest and breathe, man. The referee is okay what? seeing this here. He's good. Oh my goodness. All Dan Mercurio in that second round. Too. And look at that sportsmanship by Mercurio. Look at Gaul. He is stumbling to his corner. Oh my goodness. I wonder how much Coach Kerry Dunn can do to try to get his fighter back in here, Tim. Oh, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I'd like to hear what Jack's saying to his corner over there. Jack, Jack Jenkins, the uh, featherweight uh, eternal champion. They, they, they look much more confident, composed. I mean, this is Mercurial's fight. But in saying that, though, Gaul could come back. We still got another round. You know, he's coming from Shindo New Breed, so... Lucy. Referee checking in with him. Nice show of sportsmanship right here. They touch him up. Mercurio opens up again. And body body shot, shot. Puts him out. It's all over. Just like that. Our referee has seen enough. Thomas Churchill calls the action. A left body kick shuts Daniel Gall down, and Mercurio is our winner. And we're done. Unbelievable, Tim. That was an amazing fight. Our doctor's checking in here with Dan Gall. I hope he's okay, man. That was a nasty body and here kick. Here we go on the replay. Nasty wow. body kick to the liver. Dan Gall feels it immediately. Down he goes. Drops down. One. Man, 
Dan is taking a few breaths here. I think he's, he's okay. Dan Gall is okay. He looks okay. After, after two rounds going hard, how they just were, I'm not surprised. Back and forth throughout, but man, the technique of the night was that tight clinch from Daniel Mercurio. Super clean, mean. Unbelievable heart shown by Daniel, two, Daniel two. Gall there. Gall, he did not take a step back. Great show of sportsmanship by both teams. Wow. Dan Mercurio is a problem, folks. He's one and one as an amateur. Watch this space. Really utilize his kickboxing skills there. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Thomas Churchill has stopped this contest at eight seconds of round number three, declaring our winner by TKO from the blue corner, Daniel Mercurio. And there we go, Diego, Daniel Mercurio. Man, this kid's got skills. You can still see his green, right? Way to you. Rounds out his skills with a great team with Absolute MMA. This kid's future is bright. The sky's the limit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with our winner, Daniel Mercurio. Daniel, congratulations. Your first fight, your first win, doesn't get any better than that. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a great, great feeling, yeah. Great feeling, a man, a few words. Tell us more. You got Jack Jenkins in your corner. You train with a bunch of killers down at Absolute MMA. Semakati Kakembo's got a big smile on his face. How happy are they, and how happy are you? Oh, uh, over the moon. Um, yeah, like, that was our game plan. Pump the body kick, um, lots of feints, one, two. Um, it was a bit of a crummy start for me. Like, I think I came out a little too relaxed. Um, but after the clinch, I was popping those knees. I started getting confident, and then I just I started getting relaxed, and I started feeling yeah so much better. I was starting to pull back. I was starting to see strikes more. Could have done better, I think. I think I was just a bit too you know, flooded. But yeah, next time. Well, congratulations on the win. Is there anyone else you'd like to thank here tonight? Yeah, 100%. I want to thank Sam, Jack, all the boys that um absolute. I want to thank Tui as well because he was actually getting ready to fight tomorrow for a kickboxing event in Melbourne, but yeah. And I want to thank my dad for coming up. And also, like, come on, man, props to Daniel Gore. Like, what a, what a fight, man. Like, thank you, man. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Daniel Mercurio. Victorious here tonight. Dan Mercurio, the whole pack. before you go, Dan, sometimes we win, sometimes we learn. A lot to take away from this fight. You had your moments in the early rounds. Tell us, how do you feel? And obviously, when can we see you back? Yeah, obviously, I'm gutted, but... Oh, well, it is what it is. It was a good fight with Dan. He, I thought I did good in the first round, and then he came out and pumped me in the second. But, oh, well, that's the fight game. Probably need to work on my cardio a bit. But, yeah, he got, he got me good in the clinch with those knees. And then that body shot at the end, I don't know, just shut me down. But I just want to thank my coach, Kerry Dunn, for preparing me here and everything he does for me. All my family and friends to come out, the boys in the front, everyone out here. I love yous. It's not what we wanted tonight, but oh well. Let's get behind Taser tonight, yeah? He's gonna kill it. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, Dan Gold.